you know right now uh you know this is going into day five of the Q's channel 67 up 62 down uh eventually something will break right welcome to access a trader the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success profitability and longevity thank you for joining us here's dan shapiro to help you find your edge master your process and own your future hey guys good evening everybody welcome to another edition of uh, the access trader.com nightly wrap-up show hope everybody is doing well day two 2023 uh all is good right like my mom uh always says no news is good news but there was a little bit of news some expected news coming from uh the december fomc minutes we'll get to that uh, in a second but let's talk about the broad market right let's talk about the kind of the broader view uh kind of a microcosmic view in a macro bubble again the macro view is still uh below the 50-day moving average and i think if you've been watching this broadcast in nausea we've been discussing the the ramifications of what happens generally uh in a bear uh scenario below the 50-day moving average as we always highlight nothing goes straight down there will be pockets of strength dead cat bounces and it's kind of playing out that way it's been kind of playing out that way uh, since 2022 again we kind of uh, documented the data that 80 percent of all days spent last year 75 80 percent uh were to the red side versus uh, the green side and so far you can see here with your own eyes out of the last 14 days uh that we spent uh below the 50-day moving average in the last couple of weeks you've only had one two three four five days uh put in a higher close that opens a uh, five out of 14. i know my math is not great but that's not great right it's not a really good thing uh or to stand on the bull case having said that we are stuck in this little bit of a tight channel right uh if you've been watching this broadcast just in the last couple of days uh we, we we talked about the scenario of the bulls need a close on the queues uh above uh 267. so far they're not able to do that but on the flip side uh, the bears can't crack this 262 level we, we've been talking about as well and you can see that now four days in a row one two three four days in a row right this is a big big number guys going forward and continues to go forward is this 262 level on the queues uh if the bears eventually get through that number the 262s yes they're the selling uh will follow so the bears need to get below 262 the bulls need to get above uh 267 on the close and that will reclaim uh the 50-day moving average with a measured potential move to 272 and then 273 we'll see right bears take control over 272 i still believe if that happens uh if they close below 262 we will get a push back uh into the lows of october the 13th which is uh 254. uh you know note day to note uh we december fomc minutes uh were today two o'clock uh you had you know a little bit of volatility uh you had the market up you had the market down uh hawkish uh sentiment as expected uh you know nobody really thought that they were going to start lowering rates or even give them any hints of lower rates. so uh, it looks like the continuation of uh you know some sort of fed hikes uh will continue into the foreseeable future of 2023. uh the notable thing here is price action i, I always like to uh, i always like to look at the market uh from relative strength relative weakness and the one thing that we did notice today uh despite you know, you know some strength and again some strength not, not a lot of huge strength but some strength in names uh the nasdaq was up 71 points today which is not uh crazy which is not small which is not big it was just kind of there kind of sitting in the channel and you can make an argument uh, and you can make a, a very very easy argument if you are on the bearish side that the longer we stay below this 267 level on the queues below the 10-day moving average eventually this 262 will crack if you kind of look at the reference point uh going back to let me see where it was kind of going back to here you see this whole channel here uh this was like the second to last time we lost the 50-day moving average that was going back to january february march april right you see how we went sideways right we went sideways for about two weeks and ultimately we kept on building 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 below the 50-day moving average and ultimately we did crack because the sentiment was sell us uh sell bias here we have a little bit of different of dynamics here we're way below the 50-day moving average and we're, we're kind of stuck between uh the 10-day supply and the five-day support so something is going to give in the next couple of days tomorrow will be day five in this channel hopefully we'll get a little bit more clarity if not by tomorrow then friday usually you'll have a weekly expiration we'll start getting things into more gear and eventually one side uh we'll get to you know we'll get to confirm the one thing that i i keep on bouncing off my head 
uh, the one thing I keep on paying attention to is the leaders, right? Uh, it feels like every single day uh, there's a leader or two or three, no matter what the market does, whether the market continues to be rotation to the downside or there's a dead cat bounce like we saw today. The one thing that I continue to see is the market leaders, especially the heavyweight tech, uh, tech heavyweights, um, they continue to be weak, right? No matter what the market does. Uh, and today was a perfect case in point. Microsoft obviously stood out. Uh, Microsoft got uh, a downgrade today or earning or estimates cut something something from uh, something from uh, UB, UBS I believe it was this morning I, if, I'm, if I'm wrong I'm wrong uh, but they got cut this morning you know down pretty significant right to the bulls credit uh, they could have turned around and, and laid down after the Microsoft downgrade and took everything down uh, which it didn't surface wise that's a pretty good thing uh, although again they couldn't reclaim the 10-day moving average so we're kind of stuck in a little bit of delta neutral uh, you had Amazon this morning you know you had some pretty aggressive selling this morning uh, again market rebounded but again it should have rallied right I mean it's it's one of those situa situations that uh, if the market is strong why aren't this the you know why aren't these stocks rallying you look at Google right and these are again these are on these small generic companies um, you know these are these are these are you know big cap companies these are this is the creme of the creme right there's no you know these are the kings of the jungle uh, and they can't rally so it's something to kind of uh, watch for the next couple of days um, you did get a little bit of bounce today a little bit of a relief rally today in Tesla shares uh, Tesla put in a classic inside day uh, yesterday it lost 16 today it gained five again it gained back third of what it lost yesterday again the key level here is going to be this channel uh, for the last couple of days that I will be watching if Tesla wants to uh, get going again you see this 10-day moving average the same kind of case here with the 10-day of the of the queues the same thing kind of mirroring the 10-day of Tesla if Tesla wants to rally the same way uh, that the queues need to rally they need to reclaim the 10-day moving average and kind of break this whole cycle uh, of selling but again we'll see again in, even into strength today uh, despite you know, Tesla gain, gaining back about a third of its uh, losses from yesterday we still see we still saw some pretty aggressive uh, put buying end of the week 100 100 puts notably uh, going off there uh, as well but we'll see again I, I, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident to say in this type of environment you like I said in every video you have to be prepared on both sides of the market uh, just the same way there are a lot of uh, weak names that are still uh, just refuse to rally we can't even rally on dead cat bounce days there are still stocks that continue to do uh, very well right you have names uh, like Netflix Netflix had a really really big run today uh, meta continues to be uh, really really strong as well uh, the names that continue to suffer are these uh, cloud names uh, you saw snow today get absolutely massacred again you could you can make a uh, you can make a case for snow that it was in the same uh, in the same sentiment the same breath as Microsoft but the point is you're still seeing a lot of weakness uh, despite a lot of good uh, strength in the overall markets at least today that didn't go down even Apple that you know broke down yesterday again another example of an inside day Apple had a nasty ass day yesterday and only was able to uh, rebound an only fraction of what we saw uh, the day before so the bulls again they 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 need to do a lot of work if, if you're going to get uh, bullish in this environment number one uh, you have to take necessary baby steps for the market to give you technical reason to do so obviously for the bulls to get super duper uh, ultra bullish we're going to need to reclaim back the 50-day moving average we're still 13 points away from that before we start uh, you know putting the cart in front of the horse can at least the bulls right can at least the bulls reclaim the 10 right baby steps that's all we want all we want right now is for the bulls to reclaim the you know the 10 day moving average to start inching back higher or the bears to reclaim uh the five day moving average which is kind of like a pretty big standoff here uh reclaim the 262 uh so we can go lower uh there's going to be a little bit more um a little bit more data uh coming in for the next uh, couple of days on the economic front as we know uh, that is going to move uh, the needle it's going to move the markets um, I think again uh, if you are a brand new trader to this business within the last couple of years uh, what really did tell us and what really continues to guide us is the idea just to be prepared right um, you know like tomorrow going into tomorrow the fact that we are so tight you know I'm watching some longs I'm watching some shorts uh, just because we are in this range once we get out of that range we get above the 67 level yeah there's definitely names I like I mean look at a name like for example like Starbucks right if we do rally right you know this thing looks pretty good if we do rally Netflix continues uh, to be pretty good if we do rally Meta continues 
right? To be pretty good. At least they're above the channels and moving, you know, moving higher. But on the flip side, you have, you have the opposite as well. You know, I'm still watching Tesla to see which way it's going to break. Um, NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA is kind of in the middle of their channels. Uh, AMD, you know, is kind of sitting in the middle of the channels, just like the Q. So you're going to see a lot of mirror images of the Qs and a lot of NASDAQ 100 members. Uh, Microsoft, who knows? Maybe you get a day two uh, sell-off today. The only reason it stopped, it stopped right at the linear regression line. So we're going to keep an eye on that as well. So that's kind of where we are. You know, right now, uh, you know, this is going into day five of the Q's channel, 67 up, 62 down. Uh, eventually, something will break, right? But we're going to have to be a little bit more patient. Certain days, you're going to be a little bit more uh, active. Certain days, you're going to be a little bit more passive, watching, watching option flow, so forth and so on, uh, to watching everything, uh, you know, everything to kind of play out. Uh, if you look at today's pivots, uh, again, uh, very few, right? Very few. There were more. There were mostly at the open. Again, uh, here is a perfect scenario of predominantly uh, sell biased, right? I don't think we had anything more above uh, Amazon. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it. I mean, these were, these were the pivots for the day. Uh, you had snow, got absolutely hammered this morning. 135, it builds below, can flush. Here was snow, right? Here was snow, took down this whole 135 channel and all the way down to 128. You know, I actually like this thing. This thing starts building below tomorrow, uh, below to 128. Let me just put this on my screen so I don't forget it for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, let's keep an eye on snow. Uh, today went from 35 to 28. If it confirms it's 28, who knows if they start selling and this thing could get down to 122. Uh, here is Microsoft, again, cut this morning by UPS. Uh, 233.87 is the bottom of the daily channel. If it builds below, it can flush more. Uh, also note 232.81 is the pre-market lows. Uh, needs to confirm as well. Uh, Microsoft got destroyed. I mean, that's basically it. I mean, it got destroyed, so it took down uh, it took down this whole 233.87. You can see it by the pre-market. Here was the whole channel here at 233.87. It just got just absolutely destroyed. Uh, went all the way down to 26. Uh, Tesla, I was watching for more. You know, yesterday was the big pivot on Tesla, 1750 downside. Uh, you know, I was looking for the sneaky pivot today at 107. Actually, you know what? I'm still going to watch this 107 level tomorrow. Why not? Right? Why not? Maybe it doesn't come tomorrow. Maybe it comes the next day. But it's definitely a channel I want. I want to watch. Obviously, it had a dead cat bounce back as well. Like I said earlier, made back a third of his gains. Uh, Netflix, uh, very very strong. Netflix. I, I, I wish Netflix was a little bit more. Uh, thicker, it, it just trades super thin, but you know, it is what it is. So here's Netflix, uh, 301 was the daily channel, right? So it took down this whole daily channel, went all the way up to 311. Uh, good job for all you guys who traded that as well. And Amazon, again, there was a lot of weakness there, considering uh, the market did dead cat bounce. You did see continuous weakness, uh, 84.20 if it builds below can flush. Uh, not a big move on Amazon, uh, but here was the 84.20. Right, so here was the 84.20, where was it? Right here, here it is, 84.20, not a big move, went down about a dollar, and then it's kind of smiked, uh, snuck, snapped back up, but the point is it's still closed uh, below uh, yesterday's channel, which is uh, something of a concern. So we'll see, okay, we'll see, guys. I, again, right now, uh, the channels on the queues are super tight. Uh, if you look at the spies, uh, if you look at the SPYs, again, we're stuck kind of in the same channels here. Look how tight this is, uh, you know, you have, uh, 388 to the upside, and you have you know, this whole channel here, uh, 377 to the downside. So we're stuck. You can see here we're stuck. Something has to give. The, and this is the where uh, you know we use the word patience and discipline um, and being an adult, right? Just letting the market. Don't guess, right? We we don't know which way the market's going to break. You have you have an opinion, right? But who cares about your opinion? Who cares about my opinion? Same thing we've been saying for years and years and years. Let the market dictate which way it's going to blow. And eventually we will be right on the on the confirmations because price action is going to tell us we're right, not because our opinion says so. So guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Let's see the way we break tomorrow and let's see how much value we have on deck. Take care. Have a great night.